9.30 right now, less than a year after making contact with Earth, the wild and wacky characters of Solar Opposites are back for a second season. Yeah, the animated Hulu series for adults follows an alien family uh, uh, whose spaceship actually crashes in America. And this season, things get a little bit crazier. Joining us live with a preview is Minneapolis comic Mary Mack. Good morning. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. All right, so you're the voice of character Jesse on the show. For those of us that don't know about the show, tell us a little bit about it and uh, who your character is. Well, like you said, it's not for kids. Um, <laughs> it, when, when I first auditioned, it was for kids, and then um, it, it changed when, when things go off, uh, you know, on stream online, they can do what they want, so it changed. True. Um, but these four aliens, uh, they, they come, they get stranded on Earth because they're really uh, technologically um, or technically unsound, <laughs> like they can't <laughs> fix anything. So they're stuck on Earth, and, I, um, and they gradually become more and more of a family. And my character is uh, the 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 one that wears a polka dot dress and a bow, Jesse, and um, she's probably the most optimistic and innocent of them. But she turns uh, pretty dark pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> turns so, sour, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> when you found out that you you know landed the part, you're like, yes, alien. <laughs> were you like, this is you know this is what I've wanted, or were you still kind of like, all right, we'll see where this goes? I mean, what did you think? Uh, first of all, I was very uncomfortable that there were actual children auditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I guess I beat out some of the best unemployed kids in Hollywood. <laughs> um, so not a great confidence booster, but uh, <laughs> I, I really was excited about it because uh, my, my normal job is I'm a road comic, so I love traveling, but after 17, 18 years of being on the road, it's nice to have side income where you can do less road work and, <laughs> um, and be goofy and use all that money you spent on improv classes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe hey. there's a reason they, they took it to adult comedy because yeah. all, the, all the kids didn't make the voices. They're like, well, we have adults here, <laughs> so we could do something a little different with this. In, in, in are these all very scripted, or are they scripted, and then you can kind of throw in little things now and again that makes it even step it up a notch? Right. They are scripted, and then these guys are so great to work with, um, Justin Roiland and Mike McMahon and their crew, that I say the line there a few times for them, and then I say, how about this? And then I will write, I'll try other lines that I think are funny, for the part, so some improv stuff, and um, we're constantly laughing when we're recording the the script. So it's it's really fun. I got to say, it's probably the funnest job in the world, and I'm really really lucky. Yeah. So you are using that improv stuff. So it wasn't always. So, that, so that's good. Uh, yeah, no, you you kind of no. referenced it a little bit. So that's with us not being in the biz. Uh, so that's what like a voice actor sounds like. So are you, are you recording this like at your house or do you go into a studio? Do you, how, how does that work? Right. Well, it works differently because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I um, used to spend the winter in Los Angeles, um, which is really great if you're sick of people appreciating you for what's on the inside. <laughs> and um, I would, you know, go into the studio there and record whenever they had something done. And now um, we're doing it remotely at Buzz Cuts Studio in town here uh, because it's one of my favorite studios in, in the Twin Cities. And um, Jerry does a great job, so I, I recommended him. And, and now we can do it via the um, phone and Internet or whatever. They just direct me over headphones, and, and he sends it off to them um, on a passenger pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Not a passenger, a messenger pigeon. Boy, that's a big pigeon, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, passenger pigeon? Whoa. <laughs> well, it's uh, not, not just this show you're doing. You're actually uh, out with a new podcast on Instagram. Yes. I, I had, okay, this, our podcast is every Thursday night at 8 p.m. And um, you can see it. So it's fun because we can do visual stuff. 
and then we we released them later as an audio version but it was just something to have an appointment once a week during the pandemic and we called it amber my host amber preston my co-host we called it amber and mary get dressed because we thought what a great goal during the pandemic to get dressed <laughs> by eight o'clock and uh, Oh yeah, by eight o'clock, we're ready to go. <laughs> we're ready to get stuff done. Um, but we've tried starting out dressing up, um, you know, to feel like you're going out for a night on the town. And then we just settled for getting dressed. <laughs> hey, no Thursday. shame in that. Mary Mac, thanks so much. Thanks for the laughs this morning. We appreciate it and best of luck in everything that you're doing. Season two of Solar Opposites debuts tomorrow on Hulu. Again, it's animated, but it's for adults. Uh, check out Mary's podcast Thursday nights on her Instagram page. You just talked about it. That page, by the way, Mary Mac Comedy. Stay with us. We're coming.